Hey everyone, my name's Janice and I'm from Onboard Tangara. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our Patreon account, if that's okay. Is that okay? I want to tell you about the background of it. So, I was tired during COVID of just sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. Like seriously, my butt was getting sore. I was binging um, episodes. I was binging series between between Netflix and Amazon Prime and Crave, we had it all, okay? And I was just bored. I don't have a job right now. Um, I've been diagnosed with PTSD uh, from 18 years of being a police officer. So I had lost my sense of purpose, I guess would be the way of saying it. My whole goal in life was to help others. That's why I truly believed and I lived every day to do that. But when I couldn't be a police officer anymore, I, I just didn't know what to do anymore. I was lost. Um, again, like my purpose was gone. I, my identity was gone because as a police officer, seriously, your identity is being a constable, is being a police officer, Officer Carmina. So when that was gone, I was, yeah, just lost. I had everything to find my purpose again. I was selling reusable straws on Amazon. I was selling small proof bags, no trace bags on Amazon. I was actually teaching people how to sell on Amazon. I was actually called the e-commerce queen bee but I just didn't have the passion for it and it just, it didn't feel right. One of the big things we did to battle my PTSD was move on to a boat. Out here at mooring, I'm safe. No one can get me out here. And my central nervous system can just relax and I can just, I can just breathe. Um, I love living out here because I don't have to worry. I don't have to be hypervigilant. I don't have to be constantly looking at faces and hands. I don't have to be constantly scanning my locations. I have huge windows that I can always see my surroundings. I just, it's just a safe place for me. And Blaine actually said it's a place where he's getting his happy Janice back. So we moved on to a boat. Now my daughter and I moved on first, but we needed, um, I needed the rest of my family on board. So it took a couple months to get Josh on board and Blaine on board. And yeah, we all live out here. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's been quite a, how do you say it? Quite a healing process for me. So yes, I was out here healing, which is great. And I was taking care of myself and self-care and stuff, but I was still bored. Like from being a police officer and just go, 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 go all day, every day to life out here. Yeah, some people may think it's great, but I can only watch so much Netflix and everything like that. So I still needed that sense of purpose, that sense of something to do. So that sense of helping people. And out here, I was kind of hiding from society but I'm not helping people. So one day I went to tea with a friend of mine and we were chatting and yapping and it was good to catch up. And she said, hey, have you seen the sailing channel called Sailing a Vagabond? And I was like, no. She's like, you would love it. You live on a boat, you should try it. I'm like, okay. So we had tea and I'm like, okay, this is good. So I went home and the first thing I did was I went onto YouTube and looked up the sailing channel. It was pretty cool, I have to say. I think the coolest part was that we had been to a lot of the places that they were sailing and we lived that lifestyle. We just live on a powerboat, not a sailboat. So I was like, well, I can do this. This would be fun. Let me start documenting our journey. And I started putting out weekly videos. And of course I was scared. Like it is scary to put your life on video. Are you going to be judged? Are people going to hate you? Are you going to get those trolls online? Are people just going to be disgusted by what you do? Are people going to comment about how you look? Are people going to rip apart your kids? But we never had any of that. Um, we got some little comments, right? But it was like, you know what? We know how to answer them. We're very honest and open living online. And I had that sense of helping people again, right? Because the comments were coming and people were like, hey, Janice, um, love watching you guys. You inspire us. Your kids are having a great lifestyle. Can't wait to see next video. Or people would say, hey, love the fact that you're doing the varnish. How do you do varnish? Anyways, I was able to answer questions again. And then one day, this guy, Matthew, I have a lot of time for Matthew. He says, hey, oh, by the way, I don't know who Matthew is. We've never met face to face. It is purely online. And he goes, hey, love your guys' channel. Are you on Patreon? And I was like, what's Patreon? Like seriously, I was like, huh? So then that opened up a whole new world for me. I started looking up other sailing channels on Patreon. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then we started sponsoring channels on Patreon because I really admired these creators and I knew the amount of time it took to put out the videos and I knew how they were inspiring me and 
when I would watch them do boat ta boat tasks or something, I was like, okay, I can do that too. And I would get out and work on our boat. So I started sponsoring, we sponsored three channels, um, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I started looking at their tiers and doing an investigation. I'm like, why don't we go on Patreon? I do, I put in a lot of work on this channel. I put I, a lot of editing, we do it all ourselves, the how-to videos. And of course, some people say, well, you're not experts. You know what, between Blaine and I, we've got over 120,000 sea miles. I used to teach sailing. I worked as a first mate on the mega yachts. Blaine was an engineer on mega yachts for years and years and years. We know what we're doing. And so we start putting out how-to videos and to help people. And I knew how much time we were doing that. And I was like, well, I'm sponsoring these channels and giving back because I appreciate what they're creating and the amount of information I'm getting from them. So that's why we started Patreon too. We're not begging for money or anything like that. We're okay to live this lifestyle, but the boat, this boat refit is extremely expensive and all money earned goes to refitting Tangra. So our Patreons become a part of it. The first thing I did was research, what do Patreons want? And I did what's called an ask campaign, which means I went out to Facebook groups and said, Hey, are you a Patreon of different sailing channels? And if so, what do you expect in return? I got so many answers and I loved all the answers. A lot of people said, you know, they don't want the monthly fee. They just want to do a sponsorship opportunity where they can just give a one-time payment. That's great. So we created a website on boardtangrow.com and we give lots of those options. Um, you can sponsor us via Patreon or you can do a one-time fee. And I was like, well, let's make this fun. Let's reward people for being patrons. So we've got everything from seriously, the um, trinket behind us in some of the videos to the hall of honor to different swag which is our crew uniforms which only patrons or sponsorship get um, you can do patreon via monthly fees where you pay per video or you can do a one-time fee and then it was like wait let's really reward our longtime patrons so we developed the tangaroa reward tangaroa rewards program which you got to check out onboardtangaroa.com to check it out because i'm really proud of it i think when i was a patron on one channel i was giving 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 but i never got acknowledgement for that and yeah it may seem a bit selfish to say that but if i'm helping somebody out with their journey and their life and i'm giving back to what they give me i like a little bit of acknowledgement so one channel we get our end credits um, which I thought was really cool, onboard Tangaroas in the end credits. And then the other channel, I just never got anything back. I would message them and write them and everything and never got any response, which is a little bit of a letdown. So Blaine and I promise you that we try to re try to respond to every comment, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook. Don't do Instagram. Sorry, I just can't get into it. I can concentrate on YouTube and Facebook. We do have to draw the line. And through Patreon, we definitely respond to everybody. We developed a real cool framework for our patrons where we have a website called The Wheelhouse. I am so proud of The Wheelhouse because The Wheelhouse has like all these different sections like our how-to videos, our um, fun videos that don't get put up on YouTube to the public, um, Tangro Tales podcast, our project details, ship's log, like everything gets updated weekly. So lots of cool stuff in the Tangaroa wheelhouse that people can access. And then of course, there's the Facebook group that's really private and it's just for patrons or sponsors. And that's the Tangaroa wheelhouse where Blaine and I hang out and we do the happy half hour, happy hour, happy half hour, happy hour once a month where you can pick our brains and we come on live. And yeah, we're just having a lot of fun doing this. And what's really cool about this is we get to know our patrons. You guys are amazing. I love our Patreon so far. And you know what? This is all new to us, but everybody's becoming family and friends. And yeah, so check it out. Go to onboardtangro.com. We would love for you to join our community. And I think the big thing is there's no motorboat vlogs out there. Where are they? Like, seriously, I'm on a motorboat and I was out there and I'm like, where are the people living on motorboats? So we have a motorboat vlog. Come check us out, whether you own a motorboat, a sailboat, you're a wannabe to live on a motorboat, you're wannabe to be on a sailboat, or you just wanna live vicariously through us. We would love to see you on the inside. Come join us, be part of the onboard Tangaroa crew and our family, and we'll see you on the inside.
It's a quick interruption. Let's have some fun with this. The first 10 people to sign up for our Patreon, and we'd love to see you on the inside, and we want to get to know you. We're going to do a free Zoom call between Blaine and I and you guys. It's going to be so much fun. I absolutely promise. And then anybody who signs up before March 15th, guess what? We're going to send you a Tangaroa Crew t-shirt. Your size, your choice of style. We're going to send it to you right to your door. So hit the link below, onboardtangaroa.com. Sign up now, and we'll see you on the inside. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangroa.com for early access to ad-free videos.